Hey guys, Set is here doing a video on Pokesnipers.com, an amazing program to snipe all of those rare Pokemon that you've been wanting. So all you do is go to Pokesnipers.com forward slash donate, or I will have the link in the description. Not only that, but they're doing a giveaway. I'll also have that in the description of how to win a lifetime key to this amazing program. Outside of that, we have support for multiple accounts. If you are going to do multiple accounts, you're going to need proxy, but don't worry, it has proxy support, which is an amazing thing. Also, when you run out of Pokeballs, it will automatically snipe, <laughs> it won't snipe, but it will automatically farm those Pokeballs for you. So you don't have to run multiple bots for Pokeball farming and Pokeball sniping. So that's a nice little feature not only that but it has scouts which what the scout does is it will run search for that pokemon if it's there the bot will catch it if it's not there it'll just completely ignore it and move on to the next one it has iv and cp filtering which is really handy if you're only looking for you know the specific ivs like you know 95 plus or whatever so that's really good. Also, Pokemon white and blacklisting, which means what to catch, what not to catch. Which is really good because, you know, let's say you only want to catch like Snorlaxes. Well, you can set it up so it would only catch Snorlaxes. Automated API throttling, that's a technical term, which really don't have to explain. But it's important for when um, the Pokemon Go servers start to lag. So that's that's a really awesome feature. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. So, when you download it, it's going to look like this. All you do is right click, extract to Pokemon Go. There we go. And then you open this up. And this is where you put your API key. You get this key once you purchase the bot. Remember, and if you accidentally close the browser, it will be emailed to that email that you used for your PayPal. So go ahead and check that out. But for the sake of video, let's go with one that's already pretty set up. Which is that one. So we're going to have to run it. So this is my old account. So let's just say all you do is you go add account. Say if it's Google or PTC, notice this changes, so fill that in accordingly. This is where you put your proxy. You want to run your bot on a proxy. You only need to do this if you're running more than one bot, in my opinion. But if you want to play it safe, you can go ahead and put a proxy in here. Remember, it has to say HTTP all the way up to example.com. Where it says example.com, that is where you'll put your IP. And then make sure it's semicolon and then the port number. That is really important. So for farming, you want to put your longitude, latitude, altitude. Latitude and longitude, you want to place where there's a lot of Pokestops. So when the bot runs out of Pokeballs, it will go and farm them super quick. And then um, right here... You want to change 0 to about 5. That's what I like to set it at. Here, this is where you set what you want it to stop at. I leave it at 75 because why not? 75 is a good number. And then for walking speed, I put 15. And then uh, I don't use teleport, but you know, you can enable that if you want to. And for Pokemon, this is where you set up IV, CP, or you can enable both. So it'll be like, oh, cool. Is it 75 IV? Is it 500 CP? If yes, it will catch it. If not, it will ignore it. I have mine set to 95 because I'm only looking for those super, super high, high IV Pokemon. Here is your list. You can go through. Add, remove, whatever you want to do here. I'm not going to be doing that for this demo. For account safety, 
this is where you want to change the information so not everybody is running on the same ID but for the sake of the demo I'm not going to be doing that uh, delay of snipes uh, 5 to 10,000 is good because you don't want to go too fast uh, I, I enable stop and stop after I stop at 500 Pokemon and then I stop after about either four to five hours depending on how ballsy I feel that day but um, you don't have to do it these are just my personal settings so this is what I feel it should be at but the Pokemon caught is actually super important you are capped at a thousand Pokemon per day if you go over that cap you'll get a Pokemon flea temp ban you don't have to worry it's not permanent but to avoid that this is where you change it so you can only catch a thousand Pokemon per day and let's say you're using like Mobbot for an example to farm XP keep track of how many Pokemon it's caught before you exit because then you'll take that Pokemon it's caught and minus it and then that's where your number would be just to be safe that's why I normally go four to five hundred because I never really pay attention to that so therefore once it catches that mount the bot will stop which will prevent you from getting the Pokemon flea ban which is really really important so after all of that is set up let's say you want to add in the scout because remember earlier I said it has scouts which means it will go check if the Pokemon is there and if it is it will go ahead and catch that so how you add a scout is you click shared settings click add again the same thing PTC Google I do PTC for scouts because they're just a throwaway account scout will not get Pokemon so that's why I prefer PTC because they're easy easier to catch or not easier to catch easier to create so then you would just put in your information here again if you want to add in proxy like I said HTTP colon slash slash proxy IP proxy IP right here semicolon port once you're done you click add scout and you're good to go and then once you're all set up click the account click start And of course, here's where how many Pokemon you caught, the estimate Pokemon per hour, how many Pokeballs you have, and how many berries you have. See, I have mine set up for 95 IV. If the Pokemon is not 95 IV, it will skip that and move on to the next. But, I mean, if you want those candies, you know, fucking don't even worry about the IV setting. And as you can see, it's just going to keep going and going until the four or five hours or the four to five hundred Pokemon is caught. So thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped you. If it didn't help you, leave a comment below and I'll try to help you the best I can. But remember, when you buy this account or when you buy this program, you get support direct support from the staff so make sure you go to the discord and ask for help you will get help and everything will be awesome and you'll actually probably get help faster over there so i recommend if you're having any kinds of problems or any questions join the discord ask the staff they're they're always really really helpful and willing to help anybody so thank you guys for watching don't forget about the event going on. It ends on the 28th of this month. So don't forget about that. Get your lifetime key. Uh, outside of that, hope you guys have a good day. Hopefully this helps you. And enjoy catching those rare Pokemon.